Hello and welcome to another TRC Shave and Chat. I'm DK, and today we're going to be using HCNC Hendrix Classics and Co. This one's called Bond. You might uh, be familiar with that image right there. That's kind of James Bond intro. Um, very nice labeling and packaging on this one. Looks like uh, Razor Ray did the label design. Really cool stuff. You can see there. It's a uh, product of Tennessee. They have the Hendrix Classics and Co. Uh, website. We got some uh, ingredients here on the bottom. And it looks like the main ingredients that he points out in this, uh, he calls it his top shelf base. So that's actually the name of the soap formulation, the top shelf base. Cocoa butter, cocum butter, and elepe butter which I'm not sure if I'm saying that third one right, but looks like you got some really good stuff in here. Glycerin, coconut oil, stearic acid, um, aloe juice, goat's milk, lanolin, castor oil, bennonite clay, matter root, and tussa silk fragrance. Some good stuff uh, lined up in here. You can see where I scooped it and um, I applied it into my lathering bowl, but that's kind of a look at the soap. It is rather soft you can see I can push in and it has kind of a um, kind of like a a doughy type consistency to it where it it it's kind of it's pliable but it has some density and you can tell all right let's take a look at the uh, the old lather bowl here so this is my thirsty badger uh, shavering shaving bowl we got a nice, uh, luxurious looking lather all whipped up on there. And continuing with the uh, red and black theme, we got our Grizzly Bay shaving brush. And this has a Strike Gold Shave Hair Force One Badger Knot on top. So that is a bit of the rundown. Let's go ahead and wet the face and get into this. Thank you guys for tuning in today. I'm doing my usual evening shave to wind down after a day of work. And this is a good one. This is actually going to be my first use of anything Hendrix Classics & Co. And so we are going to be giving kind of some first impressions on the soap base. We're going to be giving impressions on the scent on this one. Mm, perhaps... Um, some immediate post shave feel thoughts and we'll just see how it goes hopefully we have a good shave I will say the lathering up experience was very enjoyable um, I have tried soaps that kind of had this same consistency before lathering and so it did kind of make me a little bit uh, hopeful I'm just gonna paint a little bit of water in it did make me hopeful that this was gonna be uh, a really good soap base and I think it will be but we'll have to shave to find out <clears throat> so it did take a, a fair amount of water so don't be afraid to give it water I think it can handle it and then on top of that um, I think this is one of those soap bases that you could probably dial into your preferences like you could leave it a little bit thicker and it'll still have enough slickness to get the job done it just it, it gives me those vibes like I said we're gonna have to shave to find out but it gives me those vibes and what I've done here was trying to get it somewhere in the middle where it still has really good density but I could tell it's well hydrated at the same time that's probably good enough. Let's get into it. The razor for today is this fun little number. This is actually a 3D printed uh, safety razor. So red and black, my favorite colorway. Really cool um, little razor. And although it might feel or look like a toy, this thing is actually the real deal. It has three different top plates, one, two, and three dots, and the two dot is kind of like the mid-aggressive, uh, mid-efficiency. And I have a brand new 
Hendrix and Classics um, blade, which is actually a Persona um, Platinum. So let's get into it. Oh yeah, I just love the way this thing feels. It does have a good amount of blade feel. Non-threatening though. Very nice. Definitely has good slickness. I can tell right away that slickness is not going to be a problem here. Absolutely gliding over the skin let's uh let's talk a little bit about the scent the scent on this one is kind of a clean and classy scent it's actually inspired by um james bond branded it's called 007 cologne and that was the inspired fragrance i believe so might be a little bit of a gimmicky cologne but I'll tell you what it smells pretty nice um, like I said clean classy this is one that I definitely could see like going out on the town at night this is one that I could see working uh, on date night this is a type of fragrance that um, I would have no problem wearing suited up like in a professional setting, taking it to work. Dressing it up a bit, you know, busting out the uh, Sunday's finest. I actually, uh, I actually really enjoy this scent. And I'll give you some of the scent notes when I'm lathering back up for the second pass. Uh oh. Looks like I uh, snagged a blemish. That's all right, though. Take it as a uh, learning opportunity here in between passes. I might uh, utilize the alum stick. Okay. So, first pass down. Absolutely no problems with the performance on this one as as pretty much expected I've heard good things about Hendrix classics and co and that is um, more or less why I decided to pick it up from the razor company <clears throat> it's um, a five ounce tub $21 non tallow I didn't see tallow on the ingredients list the scent notes bergamot jasmine fresh juniper and patchouli and like I was saying, inspired by the James Bond branded 007 fragrance. Or 007 for him, I think, because I do think they have a, a women's fragrance as well. <clears throat> okay. Get that cleaned up a little bit. I'm going to grab the alum stick and we'll do a little halftime um, cleanup here because... We got ourselves a wee little weaver. So this is just an alum block, uh, an alum stick. It comes in a little stick format like this. Normally what you do is you just wet the tip, get a little bit of uh, moisture there, and you can see where I have the runner. Just put that right over the, uh, the weeper. And weeper is just a term we use for like the uh, little bloody area. <clears throat> and then we will lather back up for pass two and it's not running anymore which is a good sign alum is pretty good at closing those up we'll just grab some more lather reapply now it might start running again but that alum will definitely help us um, in the recovery process there The scent strength on this one is right about medium, if not just under medium, so maybe 4.5 to 5 out of 10 on scent strength. Really nice scent though. This one is like right up my alley. It is 
quite uh, quite the classy fragrance if I don't say so myself good stuff we'll just kind of paint on a nice smooth layer of lather there and that should just about do it let's get this second pass going I did think another thing I thought was pretty cool was they included this little vial of James Bond fragrance oil and so it comes with a little dropper stem and if you want your shave to be a little bit more fragrant a little bit more bold and banging you could add a drop to your pre-made lather or to your loaded brush if you load off the tub so that's pretty cool Something a little bit new and creative. And it kind of puts the uh, the control into the uh, shaver's hands there to kind of tailor the shave to their wants. And if the shave soap's already where you like it, no harm, no foul. You could then add it to an unscented balm. You could add it to an unscented lotion. You could add it to an unscented aftershave splash. I mean, get creative, you know? It's fragrance oil. So you could pretty much utilize it for a number of other things. And it just comes... It comes for free with the soap. Or, you know, it comes included with the soap, so that's pretty cool, you know what I mean? Very nice. I do enjoy the way this razor feels. Nice amount of blade feel, but like I said, non-threatening. And it is pretty efficient, like on this, uh, on this two plate nice efficiency so yeah Hendrix classics and co they have a uh, a nice number of offerings right now they also have a equally innovative menthol additive and he calls it the mentholator and it's basically like a concentrated menthol beeswax balm. And you gotta kind of use a very small amount because it's concentrated, but then emulsify it and add it to your lather. So you just kind of heat it up in your fingers and then add it to your lather. Another creative way to just have fun and customize your shave all right not too shabby I'm really impressed with the uh, top shelf uh, soap base performance not bad like I had high expectations for it and it met those expectations so I do think Hendrick classics and co will be one that I'll be uh Revisiting and looking into perhaps getting a couple more fragrances from them Really good stuff And um, I'm pretty glad that the razor company picked them up because This is one of those brands that definitely I think needs a little bit of love a little bit of attention Good stuff good stuff All right, so I don't have the matching post shave product and at the moment, I don't have a unscented aftershave splash, so I picked out something that would complement the shave here. Let me just get all this soap off, and then we'll get a little bit of post shave going. Got here my Lancaster Razorworks towel. And that's just a luxurious way to clean up 
after your shave. Just feels so soft, so plush. Just a little added um, enjoyment to the daily shave experience. Of course, I got an absolute ton of leather trapped in the beard, but such is the life of a bearded wet shaver. And I will undoubtedly have to get some of that out after the shave is over. But for the purposes of this video, we'll move along. And I chose First Line Shaves Fallout After Shave Splash, which I believe the Razor Company carries first line shave as well really good aftershave it's actually it's actually one of my uh favorite aftershave splashes you can see the ingredients there i don't want to tilt it too much because i do have um the cap off already but nice bottle great restrictor it kind of has a milky color and consistency to it but similar fragrance really classy um professional very nice. And all those skin loving ingredients are gonna help me in this post shave, I'm sure of it. <clears throat> all right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me on today's shave. Um, I do have a YouTube channel of my own. Um, it's just called DK Damn Fine Shave, so if you're interested in that, I will have it in the description below. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please check out Hendrix Classics & Co. and First Line Shave on the Razor Company. And I enjoyed you guys' company. I'll catch you on the next one, and cheers. <laughs>